Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here, and today we're going to be looking at 10 mind-blowing theories that could be true. So, we hear a lot of weird theories online. Most of these are pretty obviously fake and are pretty stupid, but here are some actually interesting theories that could very well be true. Just as a disclaimer, I will say all of these are simply theories and not facts. But let's look into them, as they are very interesting. Before we get into it, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Coming in at number 10, we have Starbucks names. So, we likely all go to Starbucks every now and then. They may sell very pricey coffees and fancy frappuccinos, but secretly everyone loves Starbucks as a guilty pleasure. When you go to Starbucks, everything seems pretty good, from the service to the quality of the products. But there's one thing that Starbucks can't seem to get right, that is your name. When you go into a Starbucks store and tell the barista your name, they always write it totally wrong. This is the same whether you have a complex name or a very simple one. Whether you have an easy to write name like Tom, or a hard to write name like Oni Tonvevi, they always spell it totally wrong. Now, these baristas aren't stupid or deaf, so why do they do this? Well, one conspiracy theory is they do it on purpose. The reason? Well, have you ever noticed everyone always shares their Starbucks name fails on social media? Because everyone always shares how Starbucks write their name wrong on social media, this creates a lot of free advertising for Starbucks. So, some people online have theorized that Starbucks writes everyone's name wrong on purpose. It would make sense as this generates Starbucks a ton of free advertising. If you look up Starbucks names online, you'll see tons of pictures. Just typing in Starbucks name fails on Google generates 6 million results. And if you look at who's showing off these images, it's places like BuzzFeed, The Mirror, and The Daily Mail. This would usually cost tons of advertising money, but Starbucks gets it for free. Do you buy into this theory, or is it fake? Next up is Immortal Putin. So, we all know that Russian President Vladimir Putin is the most powerful man in the world according to Forbes. But is he so powerful that he can actually beat the space-time continuum? Some people think so. That's right, people really believe Putin could be a time traveler. Now, you may think that sounds totally dumb, but if you look at some hundred-year-old pictures, maybe this proves this theory is correct. If you take a look at this picture taken in 1920 of a Russian soldier, it looks a lot like Putin. Then, in a separate historical snap taken in 1941, there's another Russian soldier who looks exactly like Putin too. And then check out this more recent photo of Putin in soldier gear. It may definitely suggest that Putin is a real time traveler. Others said he's not a time traveler, but simply does not age. These images first circulated on a Russian social media network. Who knows, maybe Putin really has been serving the people of Russia for centuries. Do you think Vlad is a time traveler or an immortal vampire? Some people think so, but others don't really buy it. According to official documents, he was born in 1952 in St. Petersburg. So, that would mean that these two pictures taken in 1920 and 1941 are not of Putin. However, they really do look like him, so how do you explain these images? Instead of trying to look cool in horse riding photos, I think he should spread these around more. Nothing is cooler than a time traveller. Next up is David Bowie predicted Kanye West. So, we all know that David Bowie and Kanye West are two of the biggest names in music history. But of course, David Bowie came way before Kanye West. However, the question is, did David Bowie predict Kanye West? Their music is very different, so you may be saying, Charlie, what are you talking about? But the more you look into this bizarre theory, the more it could be true. This theory all started with the album cover of David Bowie's 1972 album, The Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. As you can see in the sign above David Bowie, it says K-West. Now, you may be wondering what does K-West really stand for? Well, that's the thing. According to David Bowie, it means nothing. Or at least he never said it meant anything. Usually album covers have a lot of work go into them. So, does it really make sense that he would make K-West such a prominent part of this album with no meaning? It's literally the main thing you look at as it's glowing bright yellow in the center of the album. So, that's already one strange thing. And of course, Kanye West was only five years old at the time this album was released. So, that's one reason this theory exists. But if you look at one of the song names on the album, there's a song called Five Years. And we already know that Kanye West was five years old when this album came out. But to make things even stranger, this album came out one day after Kanye West's fifth birthday. So guys, did David Bowie really predict Kanye West? If these are just coincidences, then they are pretty massive coincidences. What do you guys think? Are people reading way too far into this album? Or maybe David Bowie really did predict Kanye West. Some even say that Kanye West is the star man that David Bowie references in his song called Starman. Leave a comment letting me know whether you believe this theory or not. Next up is Shakespeare. Next up is Shakespeare. So we all know that Shakespeare is one of the best playwrights in the world. And he did a lot of work too. In the 52 years he was alive, he wrote 37 plays and 154 sonnets. 
But the strange thing about Shakespeare is he didn't even have a good education. So could he have really written all of his works without a good education and in such a short amount of time? Some say he didn't even exist. Well, some experts have looked into this, and they found while he did exist, he may not have written all of his plays. In fact, he apparently took credit for many works written by Edward de Vere. Some historians disagree on this a lot, and there's lots of debates about whether Shakespeare actually did write all of his works. You may think this is a new theory, but the theory's been around for over a hundred years. It's considered to be one of the most popular theories in the world, and when you look into it, it really does seem quite logical. Do you believe that Shakespeare wrote all of his plays or not? Next up is Tupac. Tupac is said to be one of the best rappers in the world, and he is definitely one of the most influential people in hip-hop of all time. However, sadly, his life was taken in 1996. Or was it? Many say he's still alive today. You may think this is some insane theory with no basis, but there are many things that point to this being true. For example, in his autopsy, his height and weight were listed wrong. Some say he actually staged his passing to live in Cuba. His final albums contained many references to Machiavelli, and Machiavelli was a man famous for faking his own passing. Others say that Suge Knight or the CIA ordered the hit. But what do you guys think? Is that the case, or is Tupac still alive today? Next up is Celeb Mind Control. So we've all heard theories about the Illuminati, MKUltra, and Mind Control. That may sound pretty nuts, but there have been some things called glitches caught on camera. Some say that celebrities' minds are being controlled, almost like a computer. But occasionally, these celeb minds glitch out. Many celebs have had these glitches, for example, Beyonce. There was also a glitch with rising star Cardi B. Wendy Williams also apparently had a glitch and then fell over. But the most famous celebrity glitch is by Al Roker. After somebody said the phrase, Holy Ghost, Al Roker went into a glitch state and didn't blink. Many say that these celebs and many more are being controlled by MKUltra. And some say that's why celebs go so crazy. Take Britney Spears when she had a breakdown, or recently Kanye West. But what do you guys think? Are celebs' minds being controlled, or are they just a little crazy? Next up is Hitler. So many people think that Tupac staged his own passing, and believe it or not, people think the same of Hitler. Most people believe that in 1945, Hitler took his own life in his underground bunker, but it's not actually that simple. FBI has actually declassified documents that claim Hitler enjoyed a calm and peaceful life after the war was ended. Apparently he hid in Argentina and then moved to Brazil. And there's even many books written about this, such as the famous book, Hitler in Brazil. He apparently changed his name to Adolf Leipzig, and he also had a relationship with a black Brazilian woman called Kutiga. The locals of the town called him the Old German, and there's only one archival photo of the man who's supposedly Hitler. Did the most evil man in history really get away? What do you guys think? Next up is Frozen. So one of the most popular theories of all time is that Walt Disney is chirogenically frozen. Then in the future, when they figure out how to keep people alive, he will be unfrozen. Many theories about this spread online, and Disney did not like it. And many say that's why they made the movie Frozen. They already wanted to make a movie about a princess trapped in a winter kingdom, but they called it Frozen for a reason. They wanted something different to show up when people typed in Disney Frozen. Before 2013, when the movie came out, when you typed in Disney Frozen, it would come up with theories about Walt Disney being frozen. But now it's all about the movie. So did they really title one of their most popular recent animations to divert from people thinking about Walt Disney being chirogenically frozen? Some say it does really make a lot of sense, but what do you guys think? Next up is Paul McCartney. So we've looked at celebs who may still be alive today, like Tupac. But what about a celeb that everyone thinks is alive today, but really isn't? We all know that two out of the four Beatles members have passed away, those being John Lennon and George Harrison. This leaves Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr as the two surviving members. But many say that Paul McCartney actually passed away years ago. Many say that McCartney actually passed in a car accident in 1966. The Beatles then hid this and then got a lookalike to replace him. If you look at the cover of Abbey Road, it looks like a funeral procession for Paul. Also, the album cover of Sgt Pepper's Lonely Hearts looks like a funeral too. In the album picture for Abbey Road, Paul isn't wearing shoes, and he's the only one not wearing them. The reason why this may be is when you're buried, they take off your shoes. Also, if you play part of a Beatles song back, it says, I buried Paul. <laughs> These are all very convincing things, but do you think Paul McCartney is alive today, or not? Next up is Black Eyes. So, this is a very bizarre theory which is hard to explain. Recently, somebody noticed something. That is, that many powerful people have black eyes. I don't mean the color of their eyes are black, I mean they've been hit in the eye. This ranges from people like Charlie Rose, the Pope, George Bush, and many more. Even people considered the world's elites have been hit in the eyes. But who's doing this? The strange thing is, all of these pictures were taken in 2013. This is a very strange theory. 
and many say it's because these people have joined some kind of secret group or cult. But do you think these people are powerful Illuminati members, or is it just one big coincidence? Check out the poll to vote for the most mind-blowing theory on this list. I think it's the Starbucks names one, because that is super smart if true. If you guys want to see more amazing videos, check out my second channel. There'll be a link to that on screen in a moment. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.